Today is the 15th of April 2016 and the weather is doing this. So we thought we'd go here. Welcome to Sardinia, day two. So yesterday we landed at El Guero and spent about 99% of our time in the car. So we picked up the car, which is this beast of a Peugeot 108. It's a little pokey thing, but it's, if you get a BMW or a four before, woe betide, because these roads are not fit for big cars. Anyway, I digress. So photography wise, we haven't really had that many opportunities of some good shots. Now what I don't want to do is get the camera out of the bag for the sake of it. What I want to do is come back home and I'd much rather have 20, 30, 50 great images than sort of two, 300 average ones. So I'm get, that's my new thing lately. I'm trying to just reduce the amount that I'm, I'm actually shooting because I'm, I'm tired of sort of <laughs> going through some average photos. So the story of the day has been a little bit gray and overcast, but now the sun is actually starting to shine, which is great news because me and Laura are heading to Calaluna, which is touted as one of the most spectacular beaches in Sardinia. And the good thing is about this is there's no trekking involved. I cannot believe I thought there was no trekking involved. We can apparently just rock straight up there. We quickly learned that you can't just rock up anywhere in Sardinia. Get out the car, get to the beach, and then just, you know, just chill. We've got the beach towels, got our flip-flops, so we're more than ready to do a bit of sunbathing. Uh, but what I want to do is get that lovely pristine water. Um, I want to frame it up nicely. I might even get the big stopper out if I think that's appropriate. But if not, then I'll probably just go with a few panoramas. But I'm, I'm hopeful for a couple of nice shots. So let's see what we get. No good. So our uh, plans to get to Calaluna disappeared like the sunshine today. We thought we knew the way. But lo and behold, we didn't because we thought we saw a sign earlier, couldn't find it again. And before we knew it, we were pretty much back home. So we'd obviously driven past the beach, which means we're going to have to go there another day. Oh, no. So what we did, we came to another beach in the hope that the sun was going to come out. I'd obviously get a lovely photo, but the sun has just not showed his face. It showed a little bit of promise earlier on, but surprise, surprise, we were driving. So we've come to a beach called Santa Maria Nevarasi which is here and it looks like a very jungle-ish beach because there's a, a lot of forest behind me which is lovely but yeah we're just kind of missing that sunshine that will really bring out the greens and the light blues and the uh, and the crystal clear colours in the water so tomorrow we're hoping for clear crystal clear sunshine so hopefully we get that but until then it's salad salami tonight for dinner with a bit of cheese that we bought today from the butcher so all is not lost
been hunting for a photo all day and I haven't found one, but I think I've got a shot here. So what I found here is a little rock pool and just in the distance we've got some lovely uh, two big rocks over there. We've obviously got the, the, uh, the mountains, we can see make out the mountainous background and obviously we've got the, the colours in the sea because it's nice and quiet down here. So I'm going to set up here and I'm going to see if we've got a shot. decided to drop his towel and sit down and sunbathe right in the middle of my shot. So I might have to get the clone, the, the clone stamp tool out in first shot. Otherwise we've got a bloke with a bright mustard top on in the middle of the shot. I think we'll get rid of him. Okay, I've decided a couple of things. I've decided that I'm actually going to shoot a panorama of this area. I didn't want this to look like a river, so in fact I'm going to show this little rock pool. There's a little bit of movement because there's a bit of wind coming in from this direction, so I think that will look quite cool. And I'm also, I've got to create a bit of elevation, so I'm actually going to stand up because of this lip of this uh, this little bit of sand, this sandbank here. You can't actually see where the sand, the, the, the sea starts, and I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show that in the picture. However, what you will be able to see is a little bit more detail of the turquoise and the blues in the sea, which is very important. So, I've been waiting here for about 10 or 15 minutes now. It's a bit weird, because when you're vlogging, people look at you quite strangely. You've just got to remember that you do look a bit weird, and you do look like you've got no friends. photography in your flip-flops and your bare feet is a little bit more difficult than the walking boots but I think I prefer it. You know just while I'm here I think I've got another composition. I'm actually going to start in the water. I want to see what I can do. So I'll stick you up here. Let's go in the water. 